Hello YouTube, Thomas here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. I'm coming to you from my spaces office here in Columbia, Maryland, uh, where I teach diet and exercise and also I'm a life coach. And then also I also prescribe uh, medical marijuana. So if you're interested, look me up on the internet, uh, the weed map, and then also uh, through the Maryland uh, weed network. So my thing today is I'm going to talk to you guys about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays, believe me. <laughs> I, I grew up, this holiday is the only holiday where America's, Americans actually give away food. Most times you, you try to hold on to it. I ain't giving you nothing. Well, guess what? Most times um, they do that, but for Thanksgiving, people just, they got all this food. I want to give you some food. Come on. You go over to somebody's house, you got to eat. You go over to this person's house, you got to eat. You got to keep eating, 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 eating. Next thing you know, you're like a beach whale. I can't move anymore. Oh, my God. So, it's a time for sharing also. You you, know, you go see your family and friends you haven't seen for a long time and, and just kick it with them. Have a good time. Watch the football games that come on TV or it might be some local rivalries that happen. I know when I was growing up, there was a, some, some high schools that have some rivalries and, and it was a good time for the alumni to... Uh, to see each other and uh, and to share some words of wisdom to other to the up and coming um, people, uh, well students, uh, as they were matriculate through the high schools. And uh, it's a great day for meeting people and, and for saying hi to people. So I wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving and a very safe one because there's a lot of people out there traveling. So be safe. Buckle up. Please buckle up. Um, also have a designated driver if you intend on partaking of some of the refreshments, the adult style beverages. Please have an adult driver, excuse me, an adult driver, have a designated driver or use one of the uh, ride platforms, taxi, um, Uber, Lyft, whatever. But just be safe out there. The thing that I want to talk to you today is about the meal coming up. And I'm going to share with you some of the things that I did to help me. Now, uh, I'm, I'm more going to talk about low carb uh, slash um, more of a protein diet um, than the regular diet. So if you want to do the regular stuff, you know, you just go ahead and do that. I'm going to specifically talk about low carb, okay, low carbohydrates. Um, because a lot of focus is on carbohydrates and how they increase your blood sugar. And over the holidays, you know, we, we definitely have a lot of carbs here. I'm talking sweet potato pie, I'm, I'm talking um, rolls, we're talking the stuffing, we're talking the whole nine yards. So this is, so we got to, we got to have some understanding of what we're going to do about this. So the first thing I would like to tell people is to, is to, when you, I know you're going to go do this, so I tell people to plan ahead, plan your meal out, plan your strategy on how you're going to attack this. I know it's it's an unusual situation, but you need to plan how you're going to get through this because there are some people who have diabetes and, and other situations, and they have to be aware of what they're eating, and they have to play pan in advance on how to eat. Um, so I'm just giving you some tips that I have. I'm not diabetic per se, but I still have to watch my blood sugar. But I also uh, try to give tips on people who are diabetic, and some of my patients uh, who are diabetic, I give these, these same tips also. So the first thing that I usually tell patients to do is first, Plan to eat, so eat the plan. <laughs> I know that's kind of crazy though, but plan your plan ahead on how you're going to do this. Make sure you have your blood, your medications with you if you're traveling ahead. Make sure that you uh, pack your medications with you. Do not put them in the if you're flying. Do not put them in the in the luggage because they're going to be gone and you might never find them again. And then you're going to be SOL doctor you can't see you can't meet you, uh, and it could be a whole nightmare for you so please don't do that <clears throat> first thing i'm going to tell you is that 
uh, for the day of Thanksgiving, first thing you need to do, number one, is to eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. You need to eat something. Because the, the, connect, the conventional wisdom is that, and I did this before, is not to eat nothing the whole day until it's meal time. And the bad thing about that is that if you have nothing in, <clears throat> nothing comes out. But what happens is that you're going to be using up the energy, you know, your blood sugar. And if you don't eat anything from the time you wake up to the time uh, um, the meal comes, that could be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, that's going to be several hours before you've had an injection of blood sugar. And to keep your blood sugar up, and then what happens is that you can be can be cranky, you can be you can be angry, you can have all kinds of emotional upsets because of symptoms of hypoglycemia. So I want you to, to at least eat a breakfast, eat something in your stomach so you can keep your mood up and keep your energy up, and you won't be suffering any symptoms of hypoglycemia. So that's important because if you don't do that, what will happen is that you will not have a good holiday and it probably won't turn out the way you think it will turn out. So you definitely need to eat something, okay? Um, second thing I'm going to say is to be active, okay? I know, it's, it, but I think that will help you to keep your emotional levels up, your mood up, but also what it does is that it also helps you to build your energy and then also what it will do is to take some of the edge off for when you do get your meal. And it also the exercise helps to get the body right and relaxes your body so that when you do have the meal at the end of the day, you'd be like, I worked, I did all this work. I, uh, I swept around the house. I went to the game, stayed active, and now here comes my reward. And you'd be really appreciative of that reward. So I would suggest you do that also. So second thing would be, to be active, do some shopping, you, you can help out. Uh, also, um, do some tasks around the house. You can also um, help a neighbor out with anything that they have to do so that you stay active again and, and it keeps your body limber, but also what it does, it keeps your appetite going, okay? The third thing I'm gonna say is to stay hydrated. Hydrated means drinking plenty of water, okay? Um, some people might drink beer or something like that. I have to caution you on that because if you're doing a lot of carb, uh, if you're drinking a lot of beer, that's going to, you know, f f do some filling with you. And that also going to increase your blood sugar also. So uh, I'm going to say just drink responsibly. But the main thing is to keep yourself hydrated, to drink plenty of water because you definitely need that water to keep the metabolism process going. And besides that, um, the water will help to lubricate your body so that um, you can do the digestive process good and you won't have any problems like constipation. Constipation is a problem with people and sometimes it can be helped by people drinking enough fluid. So please drink fluids, water preferably. If you can't drink water, um, plain water, just put a little bit of lemon or lime in it or, or some type of supplement in it just to get the, the, that taste away, okay? So, but keep yourself hydrated. Um, so we're about afternoon, getting close to the meal. And, you know, you can smell the food in the house now. So, okay, I know I'm ready to go. But probably an hour before you have the quote-unquote meal, I'm going to recommend that you have at least a snack, a light snack, okay? It could be just a sandwich, okay? Or just something with a protein, okay? The thing with that is that it'll just increase your blood sugar just a little bit, and you won't be still having signs of any hypoglycemia. And then also, it will help to take the edge off. So, because sometimes when we happen is that when we get to the plate, and we just go for it. And uh, what happens is that when we do that, we're going to overeat and then we'll be no good. So this is a way of how to put the brakes on before we had to put the brakes on. Okay. So it is just enough to satisfy you, but you still have that hunger. But when you do go to it, you won't be as bad as like, I'm hungry. I'm famished. I'm going to eat everything. I'm going to kill everything in here. You don't want to do that, okay? Just take your time. 
And then lastly, when you get to the meal, uh, this is me, uh, and for a low carber, um, I tend to just go for the, the meat and the vegetables. The meat and the vegetables. The reason why is because the, the proteins and the, the vegetables are usually um, going to be very good if you're talking like, you know, your traditional, um, you know, corn or uh, broccoli or that kind of thing. Um, but stay away from the carbs specifically because they fill you up more quickly. I would rather eat the proteins with the uh, vegetables. If they're, if they're mashed potatoes, then I would just say wait on the mashed potatoes because mashed potatoes are just car carbs. So the good carbs would be like the vegetables. Um, corn uh, would be passable. Um, uh, carrots, uh, broccoli, that kind of thing. Okay, And then the proteins would be like your ham, uh, your turkey, that kind of thing. And on, just get enough so that you taste everything, okay? Then, the second time you go around, then you can go kill everything, okay? <laughs> the reason why is that that first pass helps to set up for the second pass. And then in the second pass, I would say go ahead and, and load up your plate then because you've already satisfied that eventual urge and your blood sugar is going to be good. So any other food you put on there is not going to be as bad. But I still would caution you about... Uh, the carbs, okay? Just get enough um, stuffing and, you know, and the mashed potatoes, you know, and then with the meat. But the problem is, is that just trying to stay away from the carbs. The carbs is what the one kills you, believe me. Uh, the carbs cause the body to produce insulin, and insulin is the number one fat building hormone. So you don't want to eat too many carbs because if you eat a lot of carbs, you're going to be producing more insulin, and the insulin uh, produces more fat-building cells, so you're just going to be building fat, and I don't want to do that. So the last thing I'm going to say is, you know, stay away from the carbs. Eat some, but just be mindful, okay? So this is Thomas. Let me know how, how this worked for you guys. Um, I'm interested um, to see how well it worked. If, if it worked, it worked. If it didn't, don't, you know, I'm sorry. But this is what I do, you know. And, you know, I, I love sweet potato pie. And I do that. But what I do is I'll eat half of it and then save the rest. Or I just eat enough just to taste it. Because, or I get like a little small thin piece. Because uh, carbs are, are really bad for me. And, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. So... I'm trying to bring down my blood pressure, so I'm just trying to trying to maintain. So, anyway, guys, take care, have a happy holiday, and we we'll see you soon. Okay, peace out. Hey, guys, have a good one, and be safe. I'm out.